Assyrians, also known as Chaldeans or Syriacs, are ethnic people indigenous to Mesopotamia, known as modern-day Iraq, southeast Turkey, northwest Iran, and northeast Syria. Assyrians have witnessed 6,772 years of history, with accomplishments such as the world's first empire, the Hammurabi Code of Law, the very first library by King Ashurbanipal, the first known aqueduct built by Assyrian King Sennacherib, the first disciplined civilization, and known as Aramaic-speaking people. Mesopotamia is the ancestral land of Abraham and the resting place of the prophet Nahum. There have been more biblical events in Assyria than any other region excluding Israel. The Assyrians are an ancient Christian community with churches following the Syriac language and traditions which have evangelized the good word all the way to China. Assyrians have been slaughtered, forced to convert, mass executed, crucified, kidnapped as young girls, fathers taken and young boys taken away for their faith and ethnicity in every genocide that they have faced. 20th century genocides occurred in 1915, the Armenian, Assyrian, and Greek genocide, which Assyrians lost 85% of their population, the 1933 Semele massacre, and the most recent massacre, the 2014 ISIS genocide. Today, there are about 3.5 million Assyrians worldwide. Prior to 2003, an estimated 2.5 million Assyrians lived in their ancestral lands in modern Iraq, Today, following the continuous ethnic cleansing campaigns, roughly only 100,000 remain. Some of the struggles Assyrians continue to face in the region include land theft, lack of support of Assyrian schools, religious and political discrimination, lack of support for Assyrian archaeological sites, discrimination in hiring and employment, lack of security and safety, struggle in obtaining permits to build houses and businesses, and the placement of checkpoints near Assyrian villages to deter tourists or bulk delivery of supplies. Over the past 30 years, the Assyrian Aid Society of America, in conjunction with the Assyrian Aid Society of Iraq, have worked together to moderately improve the situation for Assyrians in the region by funding mobile clinics, Assyrian schools from 1st to 12th grade with all curriculum in Assyrian, fuel distribution, agricultural support, creating businesses, generator implementations, street lights, irrigation channels, and the rehabilitation of homes, shops, and churches. All these efforts are fueled by donors in the diaspora, which translates to $800,000 up to $1 million per year. The potential extermination of Assyrians and their ancestral homeland will destroy the desired multi-ethnic, multi-religious ideology of Iraq, as mentioned in the Iraqi constitution. To promote peace in the region and in the world, it is necessary to protect and save the indigenous people and other minorities to remain and thrive in their homeland where the ancestors built the first civilization in the ancient world. Time is of the essence in preserving this nation. Action must be taken soon before Assyrians abandon their homeland and like Turkey, Syria, Iran, and Iraq, the churches, archaeological sites, the ancient language of Aramaic, and more than 6,000 years of history become unrecoverable.